Yesterday, I made a follow-up video or an update video to the whole Ivory Pyro situation. And then I proceeded to make a feisty community post to which I asked all of you, is Ivory from the Pyro Cynical situation just looking for clout? Which a whopping 75% of you said that they were. I just want to point out one key irony, ironic factor in all this that I <laughs> failed to miss, but then I saw later on today. I mean, the thing with 1312, right? It's, it's funny because the irony in this is that it, it's a term used in reference to the police and it derived from ACAB, which means all cops are Beastler. So that's interesting. That's funny. You know, how ironic it is that the person complaining about the cops is the one going to the cops. If that's not peak irony, I don't know what is. Please get rid of po police evil. And then when you actually need them, you crawl back to them like the little worms and little rats and rodents that you are. Yeah, you have no fucking dignity, do you? And this isn't particularly only do ivory because there are a hell of a lot more people that are out there prancing around with this bullshit, right? There's a hell of a lot of other people. Ivory just happens to be one of them. And quite frankly, I'm losing my patience for Ivory. Uh, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys are, I've seen it. I've seen it and I completely understand. Now the reason Ivory initially deleted their tweet, right, was apparently, and I got this screenshot, luckily, I got this. It was, uh, it was one hour after my video went live, and they said that they deleted that tweet from yesterday, the one where they were talking about contacting the police, because uh, they weren't ready to revisit that type of stress. It wasn't necessary to post in that moment. Oopsie, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, all right, okay there, right? See, this is the problem, right? This is the problem with this shit it's 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 getting to the point where i don't blame you guys like you know i don't blame that whopping 75 percent of you that think that ivory is a cloud chaser at this time i know it's a taboo thing to say right you shouldn't oh because victims and you have to be a good person you have to pretend to care and pretend to be the good guy here look i told you i'm not a good person i'm not a bad person I'm just the realest person. It just so happens that being honest and truthful usually makes you look bad, right? Because you don't sugarcoat shit. So I'm not sugarcoating this shit when I'm saying that I'm getting fucking tired of Ivory doing this flip floppy bullshit, doing this, I'm going to on a whim use my emotions, right? And no logic whatsoever. By the way, Ivory, I just hope that you know that when it comes to allegations like this and when it comes to getting your point across for this shit, you need to use logic, not emotions. I know a lot of people want to trick you into believing that your emotions are logic, but that's not the case, unfortunately, for you and unfortunately for people like you. Okay? Alright? Alright, I'm glad we have an understanding. Now we fast forward to today, if you go to Ivory's account, their official account, the, the account does not exist. And this is the same at the official at for Ivory's account, which they were tweeting at with their 4,000 plus followers. It's at I Love Bird, and well, as you can see right here, not around anymore. So what did we learn today? Well, quite a, quite a bit that we can infer from all this shit. And uh, quite frankly, I'm just, I'm getting tired of it, not in the sense that I won't make videos about it. I'm getting tired of it in a sense of where it's so funny and it's getting me kind of pissed off that uh, it motivates me to show you guys all this stupid shit, right? From the whole 1312 thing, right? The whole little urban slang, you know, the urban cool thing to do, you know, hating cops, you know, and then crawling back to them when you need them, right? That irony from that fucking irony right there to the whole bringing shit up and saying, ah, oh, I'm, I'm giving you guys an update of what I did to the next fucking, uh, what day or so saying, I deleted the tweet because I wasn't ready to revisit that stress. Yeah. Well, maybe you shouldn't have fucking tweeted it.